right, y'all. So let's talk about Euphoria Season 3 and what can we expect. And I'm sorry, I need to get my camera fixed. I need to get my mic fixed. And the reason I always use pictures in my videos, by the way, before we get into any of this, because I've seen people ask me this, is because you get hit with copyright a lot if you use videos. And sometimes you use it in, you know what, that's a whole nother story. Uh, but I'm just going to use pictures and audio right now. Hopefully my camera can be fixed sometime by the end of the week and my microphone. But anyways, Euphoria Season 3, that's why you're here, not to hear me ramble. Let's talk about it because I think Euphoria Season 3 is going to be interesting how exactly Sam Levison's going to handle the criticism he's gotten so far from Season 2 with him very much so omitting a lot of storyline like that we don't get resolution, we don't get like Maddie gets a whole like freaking like violent threat from Nate and then we don't even talk about it after. Uh, McKay's a whole another situation where it's just like, what the hell even was the whole deal with McKay this season, right? Like, give us the resolution, Sam. But let's talk about theories. So pretty much at the end of season three, I feel like there are several characters that sort of had a cathartic moment where they sort of come full circle and their arc is sort of complete in a way. And I think those two characters are Rue and Nate. I made a shorts talking about how I think that Sam is focusing primarily on these two characters and they are the two main characters of Euphoria because out of all of the characters in this show, they definitely got the most arc like build in the whole season. And it really is something that I think that makes it clear that we need some more writers in the room because all of these other characters are sort of left afloat. And I think that we are definitely in need of more resolution for these characters. So I do believe that Rue, Elliot, and Jules are sort of at a better stage than they were halfway through the season, but completely shying away from where they were in the beginning of the season in a better place. But I do love to see that Rue has gotten better, and I would love to see where season three takes her. I think Nate is another character we're going to see more in Season 3 change into a Nate that is almost unrecognizable from Season 1. Uh, we saw him at the beginning of the season and halfway through as well get a little bit more unhinged. But I feel like we are seeing him do slow progress into trying to be a better Nate, whatever that is. And if people will even accept that right after everything he's done. But I think him with the Jules tape and how he handled that as well as the end with Cal and sort of giving him to the police as well. I think that shows a lot more of Nate and a whole different Nate than what we're used to. So come season three, I do expect him to try and atone more for everything that's happened. And I'm not sure how that will work with Cassie and Maddie. Um, Cassie and Maddie seem to be at a sort of like, all right, you did what you did. I beat your ass and now just go and enjoy whatever Nate is going to do or wherever you end up. And I feel like their relationship is going to strain a lot more, but I don't see their relationship ending. However, I do see them sort of growing from this Cassie as well and sort of hitting rock bottom at the end of this season. I think she can definitely see her way out of this growing more. And also Maddie maybe seeing that Nate isn't really worth it anymore and sort of growing apart from him and better so i do see those two growing now that they've hit sort of a rock bottom for each other but their relationship not really amending maybe until the end of season three cat we know there's a whole lot of drama there going on with her and sam so i'm not sure exactly where this story's headed but i do hope she gets more screen time as i said alongside with mckay for real like, do we really forget about McKay and everything that happened in season one. So hopefully we get some more of him in the coming season. Um, also, let's talk about Fez and Lexi. And I was saving this one for the last because I think it was the biggest implication all season that happened. Of course, as we know, Ashtray was killed at the end of season two after a shootout with the police. And I think that this is going to affect Fez a lot. I think that Fez is definitely going to not really recover from this till the end of season three or maybe season four. And I think that the whole thing with Lexi and her play as well is going to be a big thing because I think Lexi was able to sort of see from an outside perspective how everything has played out with the friend group and everything. And I'm wondering how that makes her want to grow as a person, whether she wants to continue to be friends with them and especially her strained relationship with her sister now. And I mean, everything that happened to Fez as well, because Lexi was really 
holding something dear with Fez and now we saw Fez get shot and maybe go to jail or have court whatever it may be so i think that that's going to be something interesting to explore is how that relationship is going to change as well as everybody around them because now that rue is sort of like more cleaned and sort of coming to a better place i feel like everybody else is now in a worse place than they were uh maybe besides neat so it's going to be interesting to see how their um change behavior is going to adapt to now everybody else changing as well um, as I said, a lot of stuff wasn't resolved at all in season two. We still have the whole Lori thing going on in the background. So I really do believe we will see her become sort of a bigger threat this next season. I think after Faye also doing what she did, I think Lori's going to be a little pissed. So it should be interesting to see where Lori comes into all of this. I think a more level-headed Rue is going to realize that Lori is not a good person at all. And we'll definitely see how all of this gets um, resolved by the end of it. So as I said, I think Rue and Nate are in the right path trying to sort of atone for whatever they've done and become a better person, whether you accept Nate or not. I mean, that's just the way he's being written, I think. And I think that the others around them are sort of in a darker place than they were at the beginning. And that's sort of like a good I think just the position of the two characters that were sort of at their darkest at a certain point now sort of going into the light and all the other characters are still there. You know what I mean? So I think it's going to be interesting. Let me know what you think is happening in season three with all the characters and what are you most excited to see. The season three won't be out till 2024, however, so it's still a bit to go, but I do believe they will have some special episodes thrown in there. And I think the special episodes should definitely be reserved to the characters we haven't seen much resolution from, such as Maddie, also Kat, maybe McKay, characters like that, you know? So we'll definitely see if they try to do that or not in 2023, or if they're just gonna say, F it, wait till 2024 to see what happens. But let me know what you thought about the finale. I already made an ending explained and my thoughts on it. But this video is kind of working for that as well. So go check it out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We can get there together. Really appreciate everybody who has subscribed up to this point. And really loving just uploading videos. But I really am going to fix my microphone and my camera. Because I want to bring a higher quality. And I do want to do that pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. But as always, that is going to do it for me. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Check out the video on the left as well. Make sure that notification bell is on so you know when these videos drop. I will be seeing the Batman this week, so super excited for that. We'll be talking about that all week. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. But as always, my friends, stay safe, stay positive.